a dream of a future where Filipinos become a lot more appreciative and a lot more protective about our cultural heritage. And I believe this project would be the start of it all. Preserving our heritage means preserving our past and preserving our identity as Filipinos. These ceiling paintings are manifestations of our culture, of our society, and our creativity and artistry. These paintings are glimpses of heaven, and it invites everyone, especially the parishioners, to partake on the realities of the sacred and the divine. I've been uh, documenting uh, colonial heritage for the past six years of my life, and every time I discover something that I haven't seen before, it's always, it always brings me great joy, and at the same time, it gives me uh, better awareness and understanding of what we do have as Filipinos and what must be done in order to preserve them. The purpose of all these paintings were actually twofold. One was to decorate the church, and second was to instruct the faithful on the Bible, and then on their catechism, and then acquaint them with the sacraments. Because you must remember, during those days, most Filipinos did not read or write Spanish or English, so they could not read the newspapers. And they did not have also the money to buy books. So to let them know of the stories, the priests would usually mention it during the sermons. But if they painted it, the sacraments, and they painted the stories of the Bible on the walls and the ceilings, anybody who went to church would learn about them. As with every kind of project, it has its own challenges and opportunities at the same time. When we proposed this project last year, uh, we were supposed to document 30 churches. But uh, unfortunately, we experienced disasters. It was really tragic hearing about the news of the Bohol earthquake back at the time when we were preparing this project. Over the next few days after the earthquake, we've learned about the extent of the damage of the colonial churches and a lot of them have been totally destroyed. So it really felt sad in our part and we thought that this project may no longer be pursued. But we feel that uh, even though we've lost a lot of our churches here in Bohol, we still have to do whatever we could to document the rest that have survived. So our team is composed of architects, photographers, archivists, art specialists. We also have other uh, support groups who are helping us, especially the, the parishes, the dioceses, and uh, other independent groups who are helping us to do a digital archive of these paintings. We're coming up with uh, 2D and 3D plans, high-resolution photos, and an initial conditional assessment of the paintings, and a more uh, descriptive and uh, more factual history about how these paintings were done and towards the end of it, we want to uh, help prepare and formulate the conservation management plan. Doing this project, I realized that there's much more meaningful work to do, not just for myself, not just for the people I know, but for the whole Catholic congregation. And I feel compelled every time to always stress how important it is for us, for me as a Catholic, to continue uh, doing such projects so that all other Catholics would be able to enjoy the same feeling, the same uh, emotional transcendence that I enjoyed. And I want to share this kind of experience to them. So it has been my apostolate for the Church. It's, you can say it's my vocation, it's my calling. And since then, I've felt more purpose-driven in everything that I do. I'm Joel Aldor, and this is my advocacy. This is Project Kisame.